tell you right now, there is never in the history of the WWF or any wrestling promotion been a suitcase that doubled as a machine gun. <laughs> And here we are with Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I'll as, it's copyright 1989. As yeah. part of Beat Em Up Boy! Beat Em Up Boy! It says 1989 because I'm assuming that's when the Dragon Ball manga came out. Because we forgot to say Revenge. Uh, no, we didn't. Revenge. Anyway, uh, this is a Beat Em Up, and it's not multiplayer, sadly. Yeah. Is, is it easy? It's can, regular. It is it two hours long? <laughs> I'm regular. I guess it is two hours long. Well, you played it on easy. If you play it on regular, I assume four hours long. Well, let's play it on regular then. Once upon regular. a time, deep in the mountains, a great advanced adventure was about to begin. <laughs> was about to begin. Alright, so you all know the story of Dragon Ball, come on. Goku? Yeah. Who's Goku? Seven <laughs> Dragon Balls. Get them all, get a wish. Goku's got one, Bulma wants the rest of them. Adventure! Ba -da 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 Dragon Ball! Ricky! Wait, why yeah. is he even tip? Because he's. He <laughs> Ricky, I want, I want to start this thing off, off right by getting some controversy in here. Okay. Ricky, you like Dragon Ball better than Dragon Ball Z. Um, I, I do. I, I don't feel like that's super controversial, but I should talk about it. Sure, sure. That's, I, that's, I don't know. I feel like that's not the most popular opinion. I love I, Dragon Ball Z, no. don't get me wrong. Um, but I, I think original Dragon Ball is better, and I'll tell you why. Original Dragon Ball is more about the adventure. It's, it's Goku and Bulma and Oolong and Yabucha and Tien. They're on this adventure for, the, for these Dragon Balls. they got to fight these enemies along the way. It's about this journey. You know, it's, it literally yeah. started as a sort of a pastiche of Journey to the West. Um, and as it got long, as it went on longer and longer and longer, it got to be less about adventure and more just about fighting the next super strong enemy. And, uh, I mean, there was a lot of that in original Dragon Ball, fighting super strong enemies, but it was interspersed between these really fun little, these character, you know, journeys that they would go on, these arcs that they would have and stuff. I just find it a little more charming. It also. Uh, get Go ahead. It also, uh, as it went on, I love Dragon Ball Z, but it, it kind of got like stupid. Es especially in the Cell Saga, it got a little too serious. Like they just, yeah. they kind of forgot the. Goofiness. It lost its. Uh, it lost its charm. There was sure. such a goofiness to the <coughs> Dragon Ball, like it was so silly. Um, even at when it it could balance being serious with being silly. And, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like the Boo Saga did a much better job of that than the Cell Saga did. Like, they sort of returned a little bit to the the goofiness of it. While it was still dark, like Boo was the first villain to actually blow up the entire planet and kill everyone. <laughs> but he did it by... <laughs> That's hilarious. But he did it by <laughs> turning them into candy and eating them. Okay? And then you have Gotenks fucking turning him into a volleyball and playing volleyball with him. Like... Oh, see, so you can wall jump, but I decided to... I wanted to demonstrate that you can also not wall jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that you're not very good at wall kicks, so it's nope. okay. They, they won't work if you're me. Anyway, oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I, I feel like with like Dragon Ball Z, like a lot of it is like nostalgia, because like, I don't even remember Dragon Ball being on before Dragon Ball Z in the US. I assume it was, but I don't remember it. I only remember Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I, I don't think they aired original Dragon Ball until afterwards, which is why this is sort of a running gag that, like... I mean, Dragon Ball Z, is it's not... In the manga, there was no distinction. It was just one continuing story. The anime was what decided to call it Z. But, uh... <laughs> like, at the beginning of the series, like, you're expected to know, like, who Piccolo is and how he's got this rivalry with Goku, and they never explain any of that. They're just immediately like, let's help each other out. And, uh, in, in the, the, like, Team Four Star, like, the hyper-abridged version, where they just condense the Saiyan Saga into, like, one and a half minutes, uh, Goku's like, aren't we enemies? And Piccolo's like, nobody watched Dragon Ball! <laughs> it's just, it's so, so true. 
But yeah, I, I love Dragon Ball. There's just the... The whole thing is just fun and quirky and charming. And nobody who's doing action shonen manga today wasn't inspired by Dragon Ball. There's just nobody that wouldn't tell you, oh, like, oh yeah, that was a giant influence for me, you know? So you gotta, you gotta at least admire it. It's like Astro Boy or Speed Racer. You, know? <laughs> you don't have to like it, but you gotta respect it. Alright. I never liked it. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this game now. <laughs> this is a great, fun game. I mean, it's really satisfying. It's like a single plane side scrolling beat em up. Yeah. It's not like a There's not beat -em. too many of those, and Don once said that none of them are good. And I was like, nah, man, this one and Beautiful Joe are really good. Yeah. Got an interesting combo system. I like how your stick got really long. Well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the gimmick of that thing. It can stretch infinitely. Boast in. <laughs> sure. So can you, like, level up? Um. <laughs> Sort of. I mean, you learn new stuff. You get a bigger health bar and a bigger, like, mana bar. Well, you got, like, numbers bouncing off the enemies. So yeah. I think that at some point you could make those numbers higher. Sort of. It's, it's mostly just for sort of game Points? You know. There is, like, a point bar up in the corner. Oh, so there is. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? So These sprites right. look really good. Yeah. Yeah, this game has a really cool art style, I think. Looks great. Are you fighting moblins? Sounds great. <laughs> Are these from the show? Well, the thing is, the original Dragon Ball played it sort of weird. There were like dinosaur people and cat people and dog people just like walking around all over the place. Um, and they kind of forgot about that as they went on, you know. And said so there was just green people. Anyway, yeah. And well, me too. Kick. Yeah, and so. Oh, I guess he's a green person, so never mind. Yeah. Falls under that umbrella. Yeah. Well, I was talking about Piccolo specifically. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's just the, the, the game feel of this one is just really satisfying. It feels good to run around and stuff. And there's like hidden treasures you can find. It's not strictly just a linear beat em up. But it is, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Look at what I'm doing here. You're, beat yeah, up. you're beating people up. It's a beat em up. I, I would consider this a beat em up. Yeah, it definitely is. That move's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of extra like, joy. Orally move, but it doesn't take up your health. It just uh, it takes so it's not extra. Like meter, but it's oh, shit, it, turn. it's used in the same way that extra joy being. It's it's like a get off me move. You know? <laughs> this is like Bear Ganon. Yeah, this uh, guy I was actually thinking like Bear Razul from. <laughs> yeah. Latin. this guy actually is in the manga, but he's literally like it's just that one off like threatens, you know, Goku and he just, like, kill him and it. It's not like a boss fight the way that, like, Frieza or Piccolo would be, you know. Mm. But it's a real thing. Well, they they had to have something. Yeah. They had to have a first boss. He's a bear. He was. He's a dead bear now. Yeah. <laughs> so we found a turtle, bringing him back to Kame. Same. Kameha. <laughs> Master Roshi. Nice. One of the most famous and popular Dragon Ball characters. Well, because he's a fucking pervert. Oh well, yeah. This game was developed by Dimps, the same people who make the Sonic games. and held Sonic games. Hmm. Like the Sonic DS. the Hedgehog. No, not that one. Uh, in the Sonic original Rush. manga, he doesn't just hand over that Dragon Ball, by the way. He has to have a peek at Bulma's panties. And because of wacky coincidences, she's actually not wearing any panties during that scene. You <laughs> wahoo! So, Do we get to see it? No, they cut that whole thing out of this game. It's in the uh, the DS game. The, the, I don't know what that game is called. But it's actually really good. The DS Dragon Ball game. The panties? No. Well, that scene is there. panties. That scene is there. Oh, that's like, right. The, the divider between the two screens covers up her bum. <laughs> uh, boo. Yeah, but uh, I don't want some pixelated nudity, guys. <laughs> what is the name of that DS game? It's, it's not Legacy of Goku. It's like uh, <sighs> something of Goku. I don't remember. 
journey of Goku. But anyway, we got a flying stage now. Nice. Yeah. It's not a beat em up. Do you still beat things up? Sure. I mean, look. Ready, go. Are you thinking of Dragon Ball Origins? It might called? be. There's two of them, and they're really good from the DS. They're not Man, look at that. Cloud Streaks graphics. Yeah. What's interesting about this game is that there's a unlockable. You could play as Krillin, the whole game as Krillin. And uh, Krillin can't ride the Nimbus Cloud because Goku's the only one that can ride the Nimbus Cloud, except Chi Chi and Gohan, who are like his wife and kids. But uh, so they were like, oh, well, shit, this scene's not gonna work then. What do we do? So they just. They like invented like oh it's a black Nimbus cloud see that <laughs> that you can ride on if you're not pure of hearts. <laughs> it's pretty dumb, but that's just silly. Well, you cleared that area awfully quick. Yeah, I did. Well, too long. It's not like he's a big tough guy. I mean, he was he was a villain of like a an, an entire arc in the manga, but by the time you get to Dragon Ball Z, you're just like really. Like, so, uh, which which level of Sailor Moon is this? We beat Sailor Moon. <laughs> we beat Sailor Moon. We've moved on. I know. We're sad that you weren't there for it because the final boss was pretty funny and you could have oh, the jokes. I'm sorry. I know. I had to call it's... my parents, though. It was their 30th anniversary, so. Alright. You love your mommy and daddy. Happy anniversary. I, I think I'm married two years before you were born. Yeah. They did it right, I guess. Well, now you can so, uh, talk about Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Yeah. This game looks pretty cool. It's awesome. I mean, gr graphically, I mean. Yeah. It's a side scrolling beat em up. It's not like a. There's no planes, it's just a single plane. Right. Hey, it's my mean. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cat? That's the cat! Far. Far yeah. is the cat. Yeah. Come on. I'm not even a Dragon I... Ball fan, and I know this shit. Nah, I didn't see. I didn't follow Dragon Ball. I watched the Frieza saga of Dragon Ball Z, and then that was it. I gave up after that. I watched, I watched Dragon Ball Z from the beginning through the end of Frieza right up till the beginning of Cell, and I was like, ah, fuck this show, it's the same shit over and over again. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I lost. Yeah. I just, uh, I just, I was really captivated by, uh, the Ginyu Force. Yeah, they were funny. Um, from what I saw, I really liked the original Dragon Ball. Yeah, I was talking a minute ago about how I liked Dragon Ball better than Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was it was it was cute, you know. Yeah. It's interesting. It was funny. Yeah, there's a funny quirkiness to it. Really yeah, cool. isn't there like a whole arc where Bulma has to wear a Playboy bunny costume or yep. something? There totally yeah, there totally is. It's just completely ridiculous. It is, yeah. But in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's really funny. Um I did recently stumble upon some Dragon Ball Z crossover webcomic oh, where dear. um yeah it's like a whole where bunch Goku of different and Fluttershy <laughs> and Carolot Bear team up together with Papa Smurf and they beat oh, up awesome. Shredder <laughs> and then they and tell you to s and they and tell you to say cat. no to drugs <laughs> yeah but, but um, no, it's like a bunch of different alternate timelines of the Dragon Ball universe I guess and uh, at some point in the established future they all come together in the same dimension and have a big tournament and fight and it's kind of cool I mean it's cool how I mean I don't care about Dragon Ball but how they kind of figured out all these different universes from different points in the series and like hey what would happen if this person lost here and it went off on this tangent and it was kind of neat so it's called the... Dragon Ball uh, the city yeah, it's, that's essentially what it is, but I think it's like Dragon Ball Universe or something like that, and it's drawn in the way that mimics the uh, the manga, so it's kind of cool. Speaking of uh, Bulma's bunny outfit, <laughs> oh, nice. they don't even explain why she's in it in the game. <laughs> it's just like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, they don't need to. No, no. References. Well, I guess I assume you watch the show. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. is kind of telling the story of Dragon Ball, but they do kind of assume. I mean, right. Fire Mountain. Is that a mountain of fire? Yes. No. The Ox King is the king of Ox. So. <laughs> well, this guy was threatening until they got rid of the silhouette. Now <laughs> yeah. he's no longer threatening. Here's where we first see the Kamehameha. Oh, shit. <laughs> ripped. Ah, seizures. Yeah. Please, no. 
like Street Fighter I like how too. all of these characters kind of just disappeared when Dragon Ball Z came yeah, around. Yeah, they forgot about so many of these characters. Well, like this, they're not aliens from space. Here's Bulma. Yay! Right. Bon so they're infinitely less interesting. Mm -hmm. Bulma. You have to store your energy and then ball. Release it all at once, ball. <laughs> You shoot your friends with the command man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he he could take it. You just blew he Roshi's did. dick straight off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could take it. Where's Krillin? He's coming. <laughs> we were let's uh, we let's not pretend that Krillin isn't the best character in Dragon Ball. Oh, Krillin's great, dude. 